This is a sermon preached on by Kirat Dharma Guru Lingden Atmananda Singh on December 4th, 2020 during 67th birth anniversary of Kirat Dharma Guru Lingden Atmananda Singh at Mangsipung, Ilam, Nepal. Translated by Prem Samba and BK Dilungcha Rai. Narrated by Elina Imihang Pagari Madin. Sarlaro Bhakta Premi Dear devotees, we have gathered here from far flung places as a devotee. Today is the final day of the program. The program is about to be accomplished pleasantly. Mangsipung is a displeased place. As Milkajang Hill in the west, on the Raja and Mainachuli cover from the south, Jitpur Hill is looking from the east and from the north surrounded by Chibua Nawami and Halangi Hills. We are gathered at Mangsibung Hillock. The same range spreads from the mountain Sengchilung Patanglung when we look at the directions of these hills and rivers. Mangsibung is the place selected by Mang. Therefore it is called Mangsibung which is covered by Ratua River in the west and Mikwa and Mahami rivers in the east. This Mangsebung hill has eight sides. All the eight sides have their own shape and appearance. There is a water source on each side and we dwell at the center of it. Human require religion. There is no human without religion. I want to remind you of what I said earlier that there will be an outbreak of a disease in the nation and the world which cannot be cured by medicine. From the beginning itself, I have suggested you all remain cautious at all times. At present, the coronavirus has outbreak on the entire world and the whole world is plaguing from it. It takes the money, property, longevity of human and lives of human beings. It takes everything. Therefore, we have prayed for the strength, for the benefit of serenity of the world and unity of all human beings. Let it not take these things from us. Let it not take our longevity. Let us survive and play on the earth. We have also wished for the fast peacefulness of the coronavirus. The monk has seen and heard our prayers and thoughts. We are inhabiting this universe and it is vast to elaborate about the universe. If you want to enlighten the universe, then there are various spheres above. The earth is one of the spheres. We, everybody, is concentrating upon this. We are moving forwards for the serenity of the world and unity of human beings. It is good to be peaceful and we are moving forwards for good motives. I always used to advise you all that we should not feel proud, anger and egoist. We will waste ourselves if we become proud, angry and egoist. These will destroy us. This is why I always used to advise you all not to become proud, angry and egoist. According to the religious scriptures and saints, this era is called the Kali Yug. The Kali Yug is also called the Age of Darkness. At the Age of Darkness, there will be more bad things than the good things. There will be more untruth than the truth. At present, the truth has stepped with only a leg. We are hinged on the rain, laws and rules of the Age of Darkness. We are totally dependent on the internet, science and technology and scientific things. However, these things will bring great destruction in the future. Whenever there is an incline of unrighteousness on the earth, there will be devastation. Nowadays, in every second a crime occurs on the earth. Therefore, various kind of viruses Diseases and illnesses are outbreak. You are listening from Connect Current. It will take the lives of human beings. There were infections before. There was an infection of plague from rats and had taken the lives of millions and millions of people. 
The Japanese flu had also taken lives of 30 million people. Now, how much lives of the people will be taken by this COVID-19 if the medicines are not invented? Such kind of pandemics will outbreak if there is more population. If there is more population and more greediness, then there will be more sinful deeds. The maize cannot yield its fruit if the plants are thick. That is why plants should be trimmed during weeding in order to yield big fruits. Similarly, people are being trimmed now. What I want to say is that we devotees of religion and believers of the Mang should always offer our prayer to the Mang day and night. We have a solution. Muhingum Ongsi Mang Lingbin Falgunanda also predicted that the pandemic will come in the future. And he instructed us to wake up early in the morning, take a bath, face towards the east, and offer incense in the name of Yuma without speaking with anyone. As a result, there will be serenity. During his period, the pox disease was infected. The disease had closed the door of many people. Only one or two survived. Many died from a family of the disease. Many people were taken towards the Himalaya and were cured by Muhingum Ongsimang Lingdin Palgunanda. Therefore, as enlightened by Muhingum Ongsimang, we have to wake up early in the morning, take a bath, face towards the east, and offer incense without speaking with anyone in the name of Yuma. While offering incense, we have to recite from where this disease has originated. Now I have become peaceful. This is your evil form. As a result, the disease will become more contained and peaceful. The coronavirus has outbreak in our time. It has its own time and duration, and once its time and duration is completed, obviously it will contain and come to peace. But it will take lives of people. There is no assurance how much life will be taken. Now, the medicines are being tested and developed. It has to test on a human body. If it is effective on a human, then it will cure the virus. If it is ineffective, then humans will die. Distress is there. That is why, in order to survive from any kind of disease, we have to use herbal medicine, which is used from ancient times. In our language, the medicines are called Warikpa, Kanakpa, Chimfin, and so on. It will cure us from the virus if we grind it thin, filter it, and consume it. We are safe here in Mangsebung. We are safe and protected even at nooks and corners. These are our ancient medicines, and there comes a day to utilize it. Waringma herbal was used for pneumonia, and it used to cure us from it. We have to utilize this herbal medicine and have to learn our indigenous medicines for the protection of our lives. Another pandemic will outbreak after COVID-19 pandemic. Either a great world war devastating earthquake or inundation will strike the world. There is no peace and prosperity. In order to establish peace and prosperity, we construct roads and tracks, generate electricity and establish schools. There is a chance, there is a danger of destruction of the world. If destruction does not happen, then there may be chances of great world war. If a great world war does not happen, then there may be other forms of destruction. Also yesterday, I said that after 25 years from today, neither connectivity of the internet would exist, nor installation of cameras. Neither a military force will exist nor a military parade. Several countries are inventing robots. China has invented and launched a robot in space. The robot cannot control the space. 
there will be no terms of employment. All work will be done by robots. If the world war does not occur, then such a situation will be there. You are listening from Connect Current. At that time, what we human beings have to do is that we have to just eat what the robot earns and live our lives. The world is changing. After 25 years, human beings will become a second god. If an agitation, revolution, civil war or world war does not occur and the world becomes serenity, then the human will become a second god. Therefore, we have to follow our religious knowledge and wisdom. Everybody knows how coronavirus has affected the lives of the people. The coronavirus takes the life of a person who consumes everything. Whatever a person gets, a person who drinks wine and alcohol, who eats pork, fish and cannot live without meat. If it infects those who do not eat meat, those who do not drink wine and alcohol, those who are vegetarian, they will be cured. Therefore, we have to concentrate on this matter. What I want to say to those who cannot live without meat, at least quit the meat and alcohol until the coronavirus is contained. You can do whatever you desire to do after COVID-19 is contained. However, our devotees who are in our religion should always remain safe and pure. We have to concentrate on purity in actions, purity in diet and purity in speech. Those who smoke cigarette, chew tobacco, drink wine and alcohol and consume meat, these kinds of diets will strongly help coronavirus. I am giving you my suggestion. Let us stay pure and create a pure society. I hope the entire world is listening to what I am saying. There are many devotees in many places, such as in Australia, America, Thailand, Korea, Myanmar and the United Kingdom. For the interests of money, we have reached the entire world. We heard that they earn good amounts. We give blessings to earn. All of us religious devotees should not enshroud in violence. We are bound for serenity of the world and the unity of humans. We should remain pure. If you hide and consume tobacco and meat, then there is no peace and prosperity. That is why it is essential to stay pure. If you stay pure, you will live your healthy life. At present, there are two kinds of errors. As per religious scripture, it is Kali Yug, and based on modern science, it is the era of science or the era of the internet. And science is inventing many things and we are attracted towards it. But at the end, truth will be victory. Truth is alone. However, whatever done with truth would always be victorious. We have to incline towards truth because Muhingum Ongsimang Lingden Falgunanda has called this era as Tangbe Phoba. During the era of Tangbe Phoba, there will be lots of disputes and arguments. There will be discord among kings and emperor and at ministerial level, all these are reign of Tangbe Phoba. However, the days of Tangbe Tumba will come now. I thought maybe there will be a great destruction in the entire world until Tangbe Tumba commences. Thereafter, it will be the era of truth. One day, this era will come and we will get to enjoy it. I will not get the victory of truth. However, you will get it sufficiently. That is why we have to contemplate on the Supreme God, Tagera Ningwa Bhumang. The Supreme God, Tagera Ningwa Bhumang, is omnipresence 
will come when we think, will be there wherever we go. Tagera Ningwa Bumang comes and goes very swiftly. Collectively, the sun, the moon, stars and constellations are known as Porukmi, Yambhami and we are living in the middle of it as creation of Mang. We are living with pleasure. However, some do good deeds and some do bad deeds. Everything changes in a second. You all have to understand that truth is standing with only one step. I never thought this year we would be able to organize this program due to the pandemic. We just thought of assembling around 100 individuals and performing the program as per our ancient practices and then dispersing. However, people gathered here more than our expectation. In the sake of religion, we should verily austere in our religion. We should be united like this. We should stabilize our body and mind. We have to gather like this for the sake of our religion. For this, I feel delighted. We have troubles. Our devotees are in many troubles. There is a trouble, and in order to make a trouble cheerful, we have to always contemplate on our mang. Then, our troubles will be ruined and become serenity. We should never quarrel among ourselves and should not speak whatever comes in our mouth. God has given us a mouth to speak righteousness. It is not given to us to speak unrighteousness. The wisdom is given to us in order to think virtuous. It is not given to us to think unvirtuous. You all have to think about these and need to keep in your mind. The man will give you what you ask and what you wish for. We have wished that the coronavirus will not infect us. May the pandemic will become peaceful soon. Here, we are performing sewa day and night. Even if the coronavirus infects here, it will contain slowly when we offer the divine butter smoke. As a result, it will become serenity. We gathered here for peace and there will be serenity in the entire world. The coronavirus will be contained from February to March and will lead its way. I am immensely suggesting that we have to perform great sewa at that time. Let us collect offerings from all our devotees and offer into divine fire sacrifice as it will take the coronavirus away. You are listening from Connect Current. We came here with lots of wishes and thoughts. Now, what I want to say to you is that you should not feel jealous and violent. Follow the path of non-violence. Do not do hen or pig sacrifice while performing rites and rituals. Perform rites and rituals rather with pure food such as fruits, flowers and butter bread. Do not sacrifice animals in the name of God and goddesses. If you sacrifice animals in the name of God and goddesses, then it will infect like coronavirus. As a result, do not practice such type of deeds. It is up to your wish for those who want to eat meat, but I would like to request you to refrain from consuming meat at least during the infection period of coronavirus. Therefore, you all have to remain away from slaughtering and violence. You should become a person of intelligence, a good person and a person with an innovative idea. I am reminding you time and again and I have remained many things. There is a political dispute in the world. There is a political dispute in Nepal. There is a competition in the entire world. Let all this become harmonious. I would like to request, let us survive happily and harmoniously. It is our right to be happy and harmonious and to live happily and harmoniously and let there be no dispute and argument among ourselves. Many things are here. 
Nowadays, crime occur every second. The crime is happening every time and everywhere. It is happening at every nook and corner, in the city and at the market. As a result, it will become a burden to the earth. When there is a burden to the earth, then the earth will turn in otherwise. This is called the destruction of the earth. I think there comes an amazing age after the coronavirus which we will witness. We have accomplished a harvesting ritual. Now on January 5th and the 6th, there is also a sowing ritual. There is a sewa on February 15th as well. Hope we will assemble again during these occasions. We have to celebrate these events according to the government safety protocol of COVID-19, maintaining an adequate distance. We have to follow the safety protocol of COVID-19. Let us gather maintaining social distance, perform the sewa for the sake of coronavirus and let it become serenity and let us live in happiness. This is also a test on the earth conducted by Mang to evaluate how people are performing on the earth. Various types of people exist here. When people say that we are the followers of Kirat religion and not the blind devotees, I respond to them, if you are not a blind devotee, then are you a foolish devotee? The blind devotees are not the foolish devotees. For the sake of religion, we have to be blind devotees and should be ready to give our head and life too. We are moving forward in righteous matters. Do not confuse this. For the sake of religion, we are verily austere devotees. We are true devotees and we are blind devotees. With regards to our religion, if a person says the blind devotees are foolish devotees, then the person itself is a real foolish. The person who says blind devotees are foolish devotees is in ignorance and has no knowledge. When we have knowledge, we follow the religion austerely. I would like to wholeheartedly request you all that let us follow the religion in virtuous path with an aim to transform our lives virtuously. We hear many things, but it should be in the favour of truth. Truth will get victory. Let us think of truth that is our victory. During such a pandemic, you all are assembled here and are engaged in the sewa. For this, I am delighted. Obviously, we will get happiness, peace and prosperity. I would like to humbly request for this kind of initiative. I would like to thank those who are present here to participate in the program and those who could not come and participate but have thought of and sent your contribution to us. I would like to pay my good wishes to all the religious devotees of the entire world. May you get peace and prosperity and be successful in what you wish. Yesterday, the religious followers from nook and corners of Nepal offered butter lamps and also performed seva. May your seva be received by Mang and may the Mang bestow what you wish. I am delighted and would like to thank our central committee for arranging this program at this level in haste. I would like to thank my two advisors, State Representative Mr. Subhas Nimbang, Member of Parliament of State 1 and members of local government, I pray to God, may you get peaceful, impart good wisdom and blessing to govern the nation successfully. Maybe we could not meet the expectations of our devotees as we might have failed to provide what you've expected for this. On behalf of the Central Committee and on my own behalf, I would like to ask for forgiveness and would like to pay my blessing to the committee. Today, we have to disperse early. All are fearing the pandemic. Some are being strong and say we have to kill all these viruses with our steps. May there be peace on them and the coronavirus become serenity in the world. May the creation of Mang never go extinct and flourish forever. May our devotion always remain with Mang. May the Mang always bless us. With this, I would like to conclude here itself. Asewaro, Asewaro. 
Oh. Uh.